e to the x equals 4. So if I wanted to, this is in exponential form. And if I want to write this in logarithmic form, we know that exponential form, remember, is x equals a to the y, where y equals log base b of x. Exponential, logarithmic. So if you guys, if you're just like getting stuck with this, because sometimes you're like, ah, I just don't forget it. I always forget it. A lot of times what I like to do is just write what each one thing equals. Um, I don't really like how I have x twice, but just say x equals e. No, x equals 4. Say a equals e, and then y equals x. It's kind of really confusing with the x's, isn't it? Let's do it another way. Notice how the x went here. The y goes there. Jeez, oh, oh man. Oh, well, I'll leave it a. That's supposed to be base a, though. And the a went there, right? When you're going to exponential logarithmic, that you're just transferring them to their different form. So what is my x? Now, my x here is that, um, oh, I wrote this in another form. So I have a 4, which is the same thing as my x. Now that's going to go to my base, of my, or not my base, but what I'm evaluating for. My base of my exponent, my a, now becomes the base of my logarithm. So this is now base e. And then my x which is my exponent, which is that y up there, now that goes to what I'm equaling. All right. Now, a couple things just so you guys know. Log, when we have log base e, we call that natural logarithm. Base e of 4 equals x. And all natural logarithms, ln, which we call it, the natural logarithm, is only, we're going to only write that when we have a base e. So therefore, it's just ln of 4 equals x. We don't need to write log e or ln of e. We already know that it's going to be a base e. OK? Questions? Confusion? OK. So we'll do another problem. Now we'll try to go for